Hello everyone, uh, it is approximately 6 o'clock Eastern or within a couple minutes of that I actually haven't looked, the, oh it's 6.01, I'm technically late, okay. Uh, but I wanted to get started and jump in on this, so this is my new channel, sort of. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, it's my new channel, thanks for joining me. If you're watching on YouTube, it is not a new channel, but it's sort of a relaunch because I guess I'm uh, intending to be more intentional about how I use video. Uh, it's one of those things that I think I should be using more. So uh, it's a great way to connect with, with you guys. Yay! So I have uh, the chat up and whether you're on Twitch or on YouTube, feel free to jump into that chat uh, because it should be streaming all together in one place. We're gonna find out if I did this right. So I'm um, kind of excited, but also to be honest, like this is a little bit weird. Um, I speak in public regularly, all the time. Uh, I've spoken in front of uh, thousands, I've actually had to improv in front of thousands, literally, of people, and that's, that's cool because you can read the room. And here I have nothing but a little green LED to tell me how I'm doing. And it doesn't seem to care, really, if I do one thing or another, whatever. So, uh, so this is kind of exciting. So, um, so hey, how you doing? Stopping by. Um, oh gosh, I remember you told me you signed up, and I can't remember. I'm not connecting the screen name, but uh, but oh man, I, I, I will I will look you up and find out which which screen which person this screen name represents. I do recognize that you you mentioned you had followed, and I I appreciate that. So um, yeah, I'm like obviously the worst host ever. Right, Kelly, Kelly, thank you. Clearly, I'm the worst host ever. I'm failing already. I have one commenter, and I've already dropped the ball. Oh, Natalie's here too. Hooray! Oh, okay, great. All right, thanks, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and joining me on this adventure. This is going to be a thing. So um, yeah, so this is my new office slash studio thing. I just barely got it done in time for Realm Makers. So it was pushing really hard to get it done to be able to do some uh, uh, video appointments and, and such there. I did some mentoring appointments for Realm Makers, so I wanted to have a nice place to do that. I've been working. So here's the, here's the background on this. I've been working out of uh, a corner of the kitchen great room area uh, downstairs. And that works normally pretty well because my husband works out of state. So for five days a week, I have the house to myself and I can just sit in the corner with my um, desk and everything is fine. Well, 2020 happened. You might've noticed a little bit different this year. Hey Kate, welcome, how you doing? Um, so 2020, Husband is no longer traveling out of state to work. He's now working uh, from home. So we're both working from home. So first of all, this is a little bit exciting because uh, he and I have very, very different work habits. He's used to working in sort of a cubicle farm. Everybody drops in, says hello. He's the kind of person who will have a YouTube video and music and a conference call all going at the same time. That's not how I work, okay? I am. I am the person who in 2020 is not missing cafes because I can't work at a cafe. So, so there was banishment, absolute banishment <laughs> in, in the house. But if I was downstairs uh, in my little office area, uh, which again is a desk in a corner, there's no actual office structure to it. Um, and he wanted to get a snack or anything, you know, he had to come and work where I was, which isn't necessarily a problem except for when I was doing Oh, Zoom meetings or once I was giving a webinar or anything like that. And we have this curious quirk where um, our microwave, if you run the microwave, it kills the internet in that part of the house, which I feel like maybe I should probably get checked out. But in the meantime, uh, he would, you know, I would be giving a webinar, something important. I am speaking to, you know, a hundred people or something and he would start the microwave and I would die. So now I have a new office upstairs because 2020 is not going away. Uh, so I converted the space and, um, oh yeah, Natalie's like, I would straight up die trying to write in cubicle cult. I wouldn't die, someone else would die. This is how it would go down. I would need bail money. So it's actually cheaper to just repaint the room upstairs. So that's, uh, that was, that's the plan. Um, 
so yeah, I'm going to do a blog post showing what this was, what it is now, and um, less of a how-to and more of a how-did, I guess. Um, but I'm thrilled with how this came out, so I'm happy to uh, to uh, to share that. Hey, Ben, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate that. Yay, I'm excited. I haven't really embarrassed myself yet. Well, hang on, it's coming. Uh, so uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, so uh, New Space kind of giving me my, my, my kickoff for my more intentional channel use. And uh, so here's what's coming down with that. Um, this is honestly kind of a dry run uh, because next week I am presenting for Gen Con, which has gone online this year, and we're doing that entirely virtually. So I wanted to experiment and make sure that I can run my, uh, my slides, my, my chat to get questions back and forth. We're gonna have multiple webcams for the for the uh, workshop projects, where um, we'll have several cameras going to show different angles of how things are working. For the uh, just seminar aspects, I just need you know a talking head and a slide deck. By the way, if you haven't picked up a Gen Con badge this year, Gen Con badges normally are not cheap because Gen Con is a kind of a big thing. But this year, Gen Con Online, you can pick up your badge for free, and a lot of the events are also free. Some of the events are paid events. I have both free and paid events, but all my uh, lecture format stuff, so uh, Japanese uh, folklore, story time from Japanese history, which is a lot of fun. Um, Elena is doing the, uh, the Phantom Thief trope in literature, an illustrated history of that. That's actually a really good one to, to stop in on if you haven't seen that before. Um, and all those are all for free. So drop by GenCon.com, grab a free badge, grab free tickets to those events, and uh, you already know where to find them. It's going to be right here. So yeah, Ben, yeah, Ben, we'd love to have you. Hey, Margaret, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Oh, so glad. I'm so happy that like, people are stopping by and saying hello. Anyway, so this is my new thing. And if you happen to be here and you think you might like to come back because I haven't run you off yet, um, please hit subscribe or follow or, or whatever it is that on the particular platform that you're looking at. We can't have single terminology all the way across the board. That would be way too, uh, way too simple. So yeah, Natalie, Gen Con is free this year, which is a big deal because it is normally not free, <laughs> like not even close to free. But, um, but yeah, so those events are free and the badge itself is overall is free. And then most of the online events, even the ones that are still pay events are really really low like um i think some of the games that my group is running are like two dollars to participate in i mean we're, we're talking very affordable so um so absolutely check that out they're still uh they're still doing badges and event registration this week but it closes i think this week because the event is next week so don't dawdle um so uh yeah gen con uh subscribe here follow here whatever oh i actually promised you an actual topic tonight um, so I don't know how relevant this is to anyone, but my little green LED can't tell me no. So <laughs> I'm going, I, if anybody doesn't like it, I could just not look at the chat, right? Yeah. But I actually wanted to talk about, um, something, one of the things I'm working on very, very slowly in 2020, uh, but one of the things I'm working on is a kind of a business book for uh, specifically for writers, but just for creatives in general. And it's not, um, it's not a craft book and it's not a how to do accounting book and, and all the got, you do not want a book on how to do accounting. Like there's a little bit of that in there, but that's not what it's about. Um, but it's more of a, an, of an approach book, um, and how to, how to be a healthy, creative person and have a career. So that's a thing that's happening very, very slowly. Uh, but uh, one something that came up um, actually just a few days ago um, kind of kicked me off into a, a one aspect of that again. So you could hear me rant on it um, because because I can. Um, <laughs> so and I want to talk about your need to make art and in fact your obligation to make art. And don't panic because this is not going to go into any kind of guilt trip for not producing awesome things, uh, especially in 2020, and it's not going to turn into any kind of guilt trip for not making money off your art. Um, so, oh, <laughs> healthy creativity, step one, chocolate. You are not wrong. Like, I guess you've been cribbing off my notes. Yeah, that is absolutely how that goes. <laughs> um, but 
in, in all seriousness. Oh, hey, Grace, thanks for stopping by. I love Laura's rants. Good, because buckle up, we're going for one. Um, but, but here's the thing, especially if you look around this year in particular, life's a little bit weird. It's a little bit difficult. Um, there's some aspects of more difficult than others, but, but nothing's really chilling right now. Um, and there's some stuff that's really horrible right now. And, um, so, you know, let's just, let's just put that out there. That is a thing. Um, however, we, we create, we make, we do, and there's so much that creativity does for us. And this is not the point. This is just the warm up. So hang on. I'm just, I'm just setting my background. Creativity does so much for us. It allows us to handle stress. It allows us to handle our emotions. It allows us to deal with things that are hard in a way. It's, it's the, if I'm writing a story and, oh gosh, please don't, please don't take this and then read into any of my books with like, oh, this is what Laura was dealing with at this time, because that's not how this works. But if I am handling a hot potato of an emotion and I go and I write a scene with a character dealing with something, I can put that hot potato down. I can make somebody else deal with it for a while. I can come at it from another angle. And it is to use the very classic example. It's not the Nazis overrunning Germany. It's Sauron threatening a hobbit, but that's enough at a distance that I can process it um, at a, in a safer way. Okay, so we all know how this works. This is, there's ridiculous amounts of, uh, you know, actual science on art and art therapy and all of that. So, but that's, that's only, that's only the background. What I'm saying here, what my point, I do have one, I will get to it eventually, uh, is that you should not be setting that aside for other things. In particular, I think there's a lot of pressure, uh, as, especially in modern society and especially, especially, especially for moms. And I'll, I'll, I will explain that further. Um, to put those things aside and focus on real work or important things. And, or it's okay to keep art as long as you're making money off of it. Okay, so then it's not, you know, a hobby. Well, I want to point out, like, first of all, Americans have ridiculous numbers of stupid hobbies. I mean, look at the sheer amount of ridiculously just ridiculous amounts of money that are spent in the industry of watching men put on tight pants and slap each other and roll around on the ground. Like, and, and that's, that's okay. That's, that's not a silly hobby, but if I make art, that's a silly hobby. And, and I'm not knocking football. Like maybe I'm walking it a little bit. I mean, football is kind of weird and you know, WWE being an essential business, that's, that's weird. Okay. But the point is if WWE can be an essential business, um, occupying, you know, during, during lockdown, then, then surely you can justify writing a journal. Okay. Like you're making some music, um, you know, making up a ridiculous scene in your head in the car as you're driving or as you're not driving because you know, you're home because it's 2020. Um, you know, you can absolutely do that and you should be doing it. You have to be doing it. And, um, it's, it's going to make you a healthier person. So here's, Here's my actual point that I'm getting to. Other people are gonna give you grief about this. And in particular, um, frequently this comes from friends, it frequently comes from family, and it frequently comes from authority figures who are telling you to make something of your life. And as I said, I see a lot of moms get this pressure, sometimes covert, sometimes overt. And it's like, oh, don't, don't put aside time to write. You should be investing that time with your children. Don't you love your kids? You know, like power, right? in the guilt complex. Um, so I, I'm here to, I'm here to tell you that you can do that. Like you should do that. And if anybody's giving you grief about it, point me at them. I'll kneecap them. It'll be fine. Um, so I've got a couple of, a couple of points to make for that. Um, you know, you'll, you'll hear, Oh no, it's, it's, it, that's just a hobby. You can put it aside. You know, you, that's, you don't have a schedule. You don't have a real deadline. You know, it's not, it's not a real job. And so here, here's what I'm going to lay out for you that, um, that you can again, use on somebody who's giving you this grief and, um, 
whether that's another person or whether that's yourself. Okay, so here's the same answer, regardless of who it is. And if that's not good, then contact me and I'll take them on for you. How it is. So first of all, oh, you don't have anything going on. You don't, ha it's, you don't have anything scheduled. You can do whatever. Like, no, I do have something scheduled. I have my writing time scheduled. My writing time was a commitment that I made to me that is scheduled. It's on my calendar. Put it on your calendar. Okay, so like go ahead and put that down. And that is, you know, that you do have something scheduled. I do have a deadline. It might not be a deadline for somebody else, but it's a deadline for me and it counts. Okay, because I told myself I was going to do this. And breaking promises to myself is still breaking promises. And breaking promises to myself when I keep them for other people says how valuable those promises are. Okay, so go ahead. Now, again, this is not to say that you have guilt. Like if I, if I, if, if I was going to sit down and write and bad stuff happened because bad stuff happens and I'm like, you know what? I didn't, I'm not doing it tonight. I got nothing. That's fine. That's not what I'm talking about. I am in no way guilting you for not getting stuff done. I'm removing guilt for when you want to get stuff done. Okay. Um, and then here's the big one. And I see Margaret saying the mom guilt is real. Yeah, I see this happen. I don't have kids, but I, 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 I watch this happen all the time and it infuriates me on behalf of my creative people <laughs> who, who do have kids. Okay. First off, yes, of course you love your family. What kind of jerk maneuver is it to suggest you don't love your family if you're going to do work on your hobby, right? Like, that, what a low blow like that's just cheating stop it so you love your family in fact so much that you are going to set a fantastic example for your children in how to be a whole healthy person because you wouldn't dream of teaching your kids that love meant having to give up your personhood and your personality and your dreams you would you would show them what a healthy relationship is where everyone gets to grow and develop that's how much you love your kids. And that's why you get to put aside time for your, for yourself and your pursuits. Okay. Like great. You know, go ahead and involve your kids in it. Like, um, I know families who do a uh, NaNoWriMo each year, you know, like mom's working on one thing and kids are working on another and you know, great. Like that, that's an option or just go do your thing and I'll be in here working on my thing. Like that's fine too. I don't, we can be independent. And so, yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm just, ah, <laughs> I just, I just get wound up because I see people putting pressure on other people. And there's like, come on guys, like making art is hard enough without making it harder. Right. So, um, you know, trust me, making art is hard. You're going to hear me cry about this stupid manuscript I'm working on right now, which is absolutely beating me up in an alley where Steve Rogers when I need him. And so like, that's, that's tough already. I don't need you know, to bring more guilt into that and, and whatever. And so there's, there's my spiel. So whether or not you are making money on it, it's still valuable and important and you should be doing it. If you're making money on it, great. That's another layer of justification, but that's not the only justification. Okay. So there we go. I'm just going to quietly back off the microphone now and try to talk myself down. So yeah, but, but you don't want to just consume. You can't just consume. If you just consume, you're, you're a Jotun or a Tao Te or a vampire. You're not, you're not, you're not living a full, healthy life. Create too. That's, requ that's requisite for, for being a whole, healthy person. And nobody said, I didn't say a word in this entire thing about it having to be good. <laughs> or having to meet a standard or having to be shown to anybody else or having to be, you know, uh, saleable or, or any of that stuff. Like, like those are all great things, but none of that is required to get the absolute fundamental human benefit of creating. All right. So I thought I was done. Apparently I wasn't. We'll see if I'm done now. Backing off slowly. So, so anyway, if anybody's still here after, <laughs> after I ranted, um, so thanks guys for sticking with me. Um, I am going to talk just a tiny little smidge about what I thought I might do with this channel because I would love some feedback. Um, again, I'm trying to be more intentional about using video and we'll find out uh, where this goes. So things that have occurred to me um, in absolutely no particular order. Um, so as I mentioned, I am not 
I'm not a cafe writer. I am in. I am not a person. My poor husband came in last night while I was working, and he sat in this. There's a chair right over here next to me, primarily for the dogs, I think. And um, he sat there and displaced a dog. It was terrible. And um, and I just I couldn't function. I'm like, you're in my groove. Like, go away. Okay. But uh, so if I, for, so for actual productivity, I need my alone space. But um, if I, for, 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 for the greater community and specifically for charity, I might do a marathon writing event live um, where people can yell things at me and we can raise money for charity. I have a couple things in mind. So we'll see, that might be one thing. Um, there'd be a little bit of writing and a whole lot of watch Laura squirm while the internet watches, like that's a thing. Hey Ben, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for chiming in. Um, ben knows what he's talking about with art. He, uh, his, he makes music that I listen to um, while I uh, while I go and torture people. I'm sorry, create, I write, work on things. Yeah. Anyway, um, where I was going with that. So that would be one thing, would be marathon writing for charity. That's not gonna happen very often because I'm not ready for that. Um, so I thought I would talk about uh, business and craft for writers. I don't want this to be primarily a how to write channel. There's plenty of those out there and I have no, no need to compete with them. But um, as I said, I am kind of working on a business, you know, project. So um, I'm thinking I might share that as it comes along with you. Also, that might help me get it done faster, get it out the door somewhere in 2020. Um, I'm going to talk about my own work. I definitely want to do that um, because it's the me channel. Me, 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 me. And uh, yeah, that, but I think that will help me. 2020 is hard, guys. So like a lot of my friends who are creating in various flavors of art are feeling the hurt right now. And um you know, whatever it helps getting things going again, right? Um, I thought a little bit, I don't know, this is crazy, but um, a travel log, which is a little nuts because I'm sitting here in an upstairs room. But hear me out. What I was thinking is uh, I, I love travel, if you know me at all. I absolutely adore traveling new places. And I binge on information about places where I'm going and try to learn uh a lot of things. Um, if, you, if you follow my my blog regularly at my at my website, um, you'll see I have a category of travel log that um, I'll just talk about. The last one I did was um, on uh, Fushimi Inari Taisha, the shrine um, in Japan, and you know just the background, some of the background and, and such on there. I try not to be too overwhelming on the blog, but I could not, I could just not care about limits in a video because it's streaming and it could go forever. We'll find out. Anyway, so I thought it might be fun to go through, um, you know, hey, here's an interesting place. Here's pictures of it. Here's, uh, here's the background and the history and the cultural in, uh, aspects and whatever. I don't know, something I'm kicking around, but um, absolutely open to ideas. Uh, I, I don't want to go too, too widespread and too crazy, but, um, but it's, you know, it's video. We got a lot of options here and it's 2020 and we need some options. So <laughs> there we go. Um, so I guess what I would say is um, if you're here, hey, Kyle, that guy's shouting to me. Wave. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're here, go ahead and like I said, I would love, love if you would subscribe or follow if you're still with me. I, uh, I would very much appreciate that as I try to launch um, and get, get started. Absolutely, don't forget, grab your free badge for Gen Con and come see me next week. Um, the, the three events that we're doing on Thursday that are free are uh, the Japanese Folklore and Mythology, uh, Storytime from Japanese History, uh, which is new for Gen Con this year, I've not done that, and um, Phantom Thief, an illustrated history uh, on the literary trope, which is where you get to find out what Edgar Allan Poe and Sailor Moon have in common, among other things. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, that makes sure you do that. And then, yeah, if you have, uh, requests that you would like me to, um, talk about, teach about, rant about whatever here on, on this, uh, that is absolutely, uh, I, I'm open to suggestions, like things and, uh, I can hear myself rambling cause there's no feedback, right? This is, this is crazy. Um, oh, Kyle, there's a replay, man. It, we'll, we'll be good. I see you guys still in the chat. You missed it now. Uh, everything will be on YouTube. It stays up. So I think it stays on Twitch too. I'm so new to Twitch. I got on Twitch for the first time this spring and um, I am such an absolutely ignorant Twitch user. So um, yeah, if you see me doing something stupid, feel free to correct me gently, but 
I will absolutely take instruction. So, uh, what am I saying? Um, I had a point before I got distracted. How tall am I? How tall am I? I am. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna say something that was the exact same height as Dr. Fauci, but I don't know if that might be considered political. But I already said it, so it's gone. I am five seven. So there I am. Five seven. I can make taller. There go. So, all right. Um, what is what was where was I going? Hmm. Distracted. Oh, I was. I said I would talk just a little bit about the. Uh, uh, thing that I'm working on right now, which is uh, Kin and Kind, the third in the Shard of Alon series. And um, it's, uh, I thought it was going to be going faster than it is, but um, to be honest, I mean, I'll just be perfectly, perfectly brutally honest. Like, it's been a rough year for creativity, and um, if you know, if you're familiar with that series, uh, it is. I mean, it's not, it's not dark and horrible and everything, but there are some heavy things that happen in there. And, um, and if you, I'm going to be very, uh, I, I loathe spoilers, like absolutely loathe spoilers, always have my entire life. So I'm not going to do spoilers, um, ever on my stuff, but, um, it's, if you, if you've read books one and two, you know, there are some things that might relate to 2020 in a way that when I wrote and released those, um, nobody had any idea <laughs> of what might be coming. So there, there's some stuff that I'm like, oh, I just really don't want to write about riots today. You know, <laughs> like that, that kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's not going as fast as I, uh, as I wanted, but I'm, I can see the end. Like there's, there's a tunnel and it has an end, so uh, we're, getting, we're, we're moving, we are making progress. Uh, I still make the promise that my trilogy will be done before Pat Rothfuss' trilogy is done. Like, that's what I've always said, and I, I maintain that, so <laughs> there we go. Hey, Natalie, this will be a spoiler-free thing always. I, I promise, like, spoilers make me ragey. Um, yeah, there's, <laughs> spoilers make me ragey, that's a thing that happens. So, okay, um, so yeah, I, I, it's one of the things that I'll be doing um, updates on. When I get done with this, I'm going to go do some revisions. I got back from my critique group on our last, our last meeting. Um, they have pretty good feedback. Um, I love my critique group. We've been meeting since 2012, which is like 857 in critique group years. That's, that's just um, phenomenal. And we are from all different genres and all different backgrounds. And like on paper, we shouldn't work as well as we do. So I, I, I love them. They're great. And, um, and, they're, and they said good things about these pages. So that's good because <laughs> I was worried about them. So uh, I had set them aside. We met last week, but I had the World Makers Writing Conference. So I set them aside and I will uh, take on those edits and revisions uh, tonight when we're done here. So um, yeah, so the other things that I need to work on, and I'm just putting it out there so that I have accountability hanging heavily over me from the atmosphere. Um, uh, there's a, uh, oh, if, if you guys, I don't know, like nobody watching this is expected to be like, to be, uh, there is no quiz on my catalog of work. Okay, so just up front. But uh, the Four Elements anthology series uh, fire and uh, earth are already out. Air is coming out very soon. I just got the pre-order links from those, so I'll be sharing those shortly. And then uh, the water stories are due next month, which means I should probably write one. <laughs> yeah. I hope I, I hope my editor's not watching this. Um, so. Yes, Kyle, I write fiction. Um, I am a fiction author. Uh, well, I write nonfiction as well. I, I am bad at branding. I write a lot of things. <laughs> so um, I write uh, epic fantasy, uh, urban fantasy, historical fantasy, a little bit of mystery and nonfiction. And yeah, I just kind of, uh, I do what I want. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so my, the elemental uh, anthology series, I've been having a lot of fun with that because uh, each of my stories 
in, in each one of those anthologies has been tied together. They all, they all can be read on their own, but if you are reading multiple anthologies, you're gonna notice that they're working together. So, um, so there's a little bit of pressure to stick the landing with the fourth and final story. Uh, and I haven't started it yet. <laughs> hey Rhonda, if you're looking, really shiny, what lovely weather we're having. Look over there, a chicken. Like, yeah, okay. So, hey, um, I have to write a water, we need group notes. Yes, yes, I'm working. Like there's gonna be a water story. I just have to get it out of my head. That'll, that'll, that'll happen, I promise, she said. Okay, um, so, uh, where was I going with that? That's, that's where I am. That's the update. Um, so, and then there's another, there's another venue where I would like to submit a story, but I honestly don't know. It's, uh, it's an open call for submissions, but it closes next week. So I don't know if I'll get it done in time. We'll find out. I don't know. If it does, if it does, I'll share it. And if not, I'll just quietly brush it in the rug and we will never discuss it again. So, all right. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on my, I guess, sort of depending on which channel you're on inaugural uh, video i really appreciate you uh you know stopping by i know i said that but i really do it's um i love that you guys are throwing stuff in the chat um the chat's right here for me this is why i'm looking off to the side i love that you guys are doing that because honestly this little green led does not give me a ton of feedback and um i'm used to reading the room and i can feel myself you know rambling a little bit because i'm just like i don't know if anybody like but then i look at the chat and i'm like oh yay people so thank you i really appreciate that and yeah so that is that is it that's where we are um that's what i'm going to be doing with this and um uh, it's mostly what i had for tonight i didn't actually plan any kind of sign off so it was so awkward stares awkward stares uh, margaret says love the rants hey if you stick with me there are all the rants uh i I, I do the rants. Um, it is a thing that happens. It's like, just make popcorn. Like, <laughs> come prepared. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Hey, guys, I'm going to sign off and start on my edits, but I so very much appreciate you coming out. Um, again, subscribe, follow, whatever the thing is that you're looking at. Uh, ring the bell. Is that what the kids say? I think that's what the kids say. Ring the bell. And, um, yeah, and then I will catch you guys. I'm going to uh, work out what will come next, and I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Have a great evening for most of you, morning for at least a couple of you. Uh, so, yeah, take care. Wash your hands.